Recently, I did a July checked suitcase review, as you can see up here. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Carry On, both the Essential and the Classic. I'm going to go through the differences between the two. They're part of the July Carry On range. There's a lot of them, so it's just these two that we're going to look into today, which are the more, I guess, classic options. But before we start, don't forget to leave a comment below. I want to see what you like about July, why you're on this video, or just say hello. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe if this video helped you make a decision. Let's do it. All right, so this is the Carry On Essential. Now with the Carry On Essential, the two differences between the Carry On as well as the Carry On Essential are two things. One is, as you can see here, is no USB-C battery plug-in. And the other thing is, it doesn't have bumpers, as you can see here, compared to this checked luggage. The bumpers are for, basically, as you would expect, to prevent bumps. So, the reason why they took the two out from this one and incorporated it into the carry-on is this luggage is meant to be light. This is the only one, apart from the carry-on light, which is under 3 kilos, and it still holds 42 litres, as same as the carry-on. It is also slightly cheaper. It's priced $50 cheaper from the retail recommended price, so $275 versus $325. So those are the big differences between the two. Otherwise, the rest is pretty much the same. So I'm going to go through the luggage as it is, and you can make a decision based off what you want to use. If you want to use more of a carry-on that you have the flexibility to turn into a check-in, then use maybe the classic or the original. Or if you want something that's a bit lighter, that you're probably going to be using for most domestic trips and just carry on in general, then the essential might be the answer here. All right, so let's talk about some of my favorite features on the July carry-on. First up, we're going to start with the zippers, YKK. You might have not heard of YKK, but for the most part, you probably own a piece of clothing, something that actually is manufactured by YKK. YKK stands for Yoshida Koigyo Kabushiki Kaisa, which is a Japanese company that specializes in zippers founded in 1934. It's very renowned for this, for their, their zippers basically. So, so July uses this manufacturer to create their zippers and you can tell the difference in terms of the zipper quality. Because for example, I have a Samsonite carry-on roller, which the zippers work in a couple of years. And although it is covered by warranty, you don't want that to happen because, well, if you want to travel, then you have to wait for your warranty to go through. You have to then give it the luggage. And what if you need the luggage, right? So it's a bit annoying, but I've used this for a couple of years for my checked suitcase and it works really well. So as you can see in the video here, it's super smooth, very like, it, you can feel the premium. Like sometimes you can just feel that the zipper actually does what it's meant to do. So that's the first feature that I wanted to call out. The second feature I want to talk about are the July wheels. Now, the July wheels are a bit more special than your normal wheels. Although it is 360 spinner, a lot of suitcases are also 360 spinning. But the most important thing is it's silent M technology. Now, this doesn't mean that your suitcase is going to be silent as you kind of roll it across the airport. It just means it's a lot more quieter than other suitcases. And I can definitely hear it when I compare my Samsonite as well as my July. It is noticeably quieter. You're not going to get silent. And if you're rolling your luggage on asphalt or, gra or graphite or like something like hard, like that's, you know, a bit more concrete then you're going to hear noise, to be honest. But for the most part, it is very silent, especially as you're rolling across the airport, which I really love, to be honest. Thirdly is the outer layer. It's German polycarbonate. Now, it might sound fancy, but the only thing you really need to know about it is it's a bit more lighter and is durable. So it's light and durable. So... For the most part, it's gonna help you get you across the ocean without too much damage in luggage. However, unfortunately, it's not fully scratch resistant. So if you're looking for a luggage that is fully scratch resistant, which I think is really rare, this luggage is not for you. However, you are sacrificing a bit of that durability for a bit of lightness because most of the really scratch free or you know really durable outer shells have really high luggage weights. Like they're super heavy for that reason. So it's a bit of balance. In my opinion, it can get by. As you can see here from my checked luggage, which I've used for much longer, for a couple of years now, there's a bit of scratch marks on it, but for the most part, it does the job pretty well. And finally, you have the 20 height handle. So basically, this means that you can set it in different heights, 20 variations. Most suitcases I found can do two to three variations. For the most part, this is really good if you are a certain weird height that you kind of want to like adjust properly. For example, if you're a bit shorter and suitcase is just not adjusted for you, you can use this as a kind of like a way to kind of adjust properly. 
However, I found myself just using the highest height, to be honest. So this is just more of a feature that if it's useful for you, it's useful for you. For me, it's not that useful, but it's kind of a cool call out. Okay, so those are my favorite features. There's a lot more on the July website. I'll link it below. You can check it out. But for the most part, these are the features I'll call out because the rest are kind of standard, I guess, in the industry. Okay, so now let's talk about the internal. Now, in my opinion, the internal is not that special. It's just kind of like every other suitcase you kind of have. You get a stain-free laundry bag, which a lot of suitcases give you these days. You have a compression, um, I guess, belt thing. It, it, some suitcases do have it, some, some suitcases don't. But for the most part, these days, I've seen most suitcases do have it. However, something just to call out as well, because if you do want one, then it's embedded in the suitcase. For the rest, there is a little pocket to chuck all the random stuff into it. And that's about it. The rest is pretty standard. There's a zipper on one side so you can tuck your, you know, your clothes in and stuff like that. But for the most part, most suitcases have this. So that's all for me for that part. Um, it is 42 liters, so it's a decent size, but pretty standard in that carry-on category. Now, this is my favorite part. What else apart from the outer internal features? Well, firstly, let's talk about the product design. July is renowned for its product design. You're buying a suitcase because you want to look good as you roll around the airport, or you don't want to look like the generic person that has a black Samsung or black antler like everyone has. So you know when the suitcase comes on the um, conveyor belt that that's your suitcase. For the most part, I haven't confused any of my suitcases, although I've now started to see more July suitcases, but there's so many different colors and variations. I've seen so, much, so many funky colors that people choose. For this one, the carry-on, this is a just a very generic blue, but for my other one, as you can see, it's a bit of a rose gold. So like, you can definitely have some really funky colors. The other feature is you can add a bit of personalization on top. Now, you do have to pay for personalization, however, Look out for deals because sometimes the deals, especially if you buy two or if you, um, there's certain specials that sometimes you actually get it for free. So in my opinion, just wait for those ones to pop out if you want personalization on it. But either way, this is the biggest reason why you choose a July suitcase. It's, in my, in my opinion, you have all these premium features, but the product design is why you do want one. For Like a lot of people buy random stuff like bottles and stuff. And for the most part, you buy bottles because of product design, But either way, this is a big reason why, in my opinion, I love my July suitcase. You don't want to be that generic person that... But for the most part, this is one of the reasons why I love my July suitcase. It's not a monotone color. It's something that I can spot on the conveyor belt. And it just feels nice to roll it around, to be honest. So finally, I wanted to talk about its warranty. So its warranty, it gives it a bit of an edge compared to some of the competitors. For example, Samsonite has a limited warranty of two to 10 years. My carry-on has a 10-year warranty, but I've seen some that have a lot lower than that. I think it ranges around that. The July one is a limited warranty for a lifetime. So if it, the wheels break, the zippers break, you can actually claim on warranty. Definitely check out what type of stuff you can claim in the description. Um, I'll link it there. However, it also gives a use kind of like a breathing room so you don't have to basically fix it yourself, which honestly, I tried fixing my own zipper for my Samsonite and that was a bad idea. I should have just claimed our warranty. Secondly is it's a 100 day window, return window. If you don't like it, you, you get it, you get your luggage, you roll around at home, you're like, wow, I don't like this luggage. It doesn't, I actually don't look, it doesn't look actually as good as I thought. Then you can return it. 100 days is quite a lot of time. So definitely go check out this policy as well. Very flexible policies in my opinion. Go check it out. Definitely you can buy it and then return it if you don't like it. Okay, so here's my final verdict. Should you get one? Now, in my opinion, he's... Okay, so here's my final verdict. Should you get one? Now, in my opinion, I own both. I also own a lot of Samsonite luggage uh, suitcases as well as antler ones. It is a really good suitcase. In my opinion, it does make me feel like, oh, I'm actually rolling around something that isn't generic like everyone else. Now, are you buying a suitcase because you want the latest technology features? You want something that you know has IoT, like I've seen in suitcases now, has wild stuff. The answer is no, you're not buying those features for a July suitcase. If you are finding, if you want something super durable, like you could chuck, from a five-story building and still be fine, July is not the brand for you. However, if you want a suitcase that has good colors, good product design, makes you feel good when you roll it around, and you feel like you're rolling around something that is special, then July is definitely for you. It's a bit more of that other type of category. But I can definitely see the point of, you know, you want something that's durable that you can throw out a window, or you have something that, you know, has all the technology features on it. I get that, but this is, that's not for you then. July is not for you. That's just my call out because I think a lot of people get like, oh, they expect something huge, like durable and stuff like that. But July is not that brand, to be honest. 
So you really need to figure out what you are basically. And I'll finally finish off kind of going back to the beginning of the video, which is essential versus the normal carry on. The normal carry on, as I mentioned, better for if you're going to check it in occasionally versus the essential where you're probably just going to be using it for cabin because it doesn't have those bumpers and it's a bit lighter. So yeah, that's my final verdict. Hopefully that helps you kind of decide if you want a July carry on, but check out my checked as well. If you're interested in check luggage, super really cool luggage. In my opinion, really cool brand. It's Aussie as well. So yeah, and I'm Aussie, so I got to support it, right? If you are interested in now buying it because of my video or you, you're somewhat interested in it, please use my link below. It is an affiliate link. However, it does help me become more, um, do more content reviews, etc. So you can basically decide if you want to buy something or not. And I do focus more on travel products. So if you are traveling a lot, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that, I'm going to see you in the next video. Cheers.